Welcome to DSTV Roundtable. My name is Donovan Goliath, and once again, I am not alone. I am joined by the super talented Andy from A Hostel. Yes. Even the way you're sitting there, yes. you're sitting there like no, you're in a city no, golf. No, Those are city golf vibes like this. You feel the, me? You see the people. You are cigaring the people right now. <laughs> Tell me about your character Skikane ne? and why you, what drew you to your character? Why you chose to play this character? I love this woman. Mm. Um, one thing I have in common with her, we bought from Gomash. Oh. Yeah, but it's not oh. <laughs> I love this woman. She's strong, she's driven. What drives her the most is that her son was murdered. Mm. And she goes into this lion's den and sleep with the devil himself just to avenge the son's death. So she's in a relationship with this man every day to, to get revenge, to revenge. Imagine this, such a sacrifice, it's so huge. Yeah, Imagine sleeping with your enemy. Yeah, right. Just yeah. to know your, your enemies each and every move. So you can... Uh, that's commitment, eh? Yeah, I understand. So I love her. I love her passion. Mm. She's a mastermind. Mm. She's a manipulator. She's she's evil. Shame. Unlike shame. me. Yeah. Shame. <laughs> shame. She's so evil. Shame. 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 But she hardly laughs. She's always serious. She's always on a mission. So I love her. I love mm. the power. I love the power that they have given um, female leads, female actors, yes. uh, female artists, female actresses. I love the platform. It has gone up. Because when you compare season one to this season, because a hostel is about like a real a hostel and life. Mm. What is happening? You have a brotherhood there, which we call Ibuto. Mm. Those are the people who would say, go now and kill this person. Just like that, you're dead. They can make a bet over your life. Like, I will buy you vodka. Go and kill so and so. You're gone. So it shows the reality of a hostel life. That's really, that's, a, that's the reality. That's what really happens. Mm. So for them to bring in this strong character, this strong woman, to be amongst mm. the brotherhood, mm. it's power. Mm. It's, it's huge. Give me a bit of a lowdown on season two. What makes this even more gripping than season one? <sighs> it's the drama itself. Mm. It's the cast. Mm. It's me. Ah. <laughs> yes! Yes! That's exactly what I was going for. I mean, there is no other answer here. You, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I got you. Um, I love that. <laughs> and, and this season, they've, they've really gone deep. Mm. Well done to writers. They've mm. really gone deep with the story. Like, they've really gone, like, for real. It, to, in a way that I don't even wear makeup on set because I'm too busy. They've made it as real as possible. The story is so original. The only makeup, the only time you'll see me wearing makeup, there's this thing, the women, a, a, a hostel, that they wear. It's like clay, it's yes. red clay. Ibom. yes. Mm. The only time I wear makeup will be like on events, if mm. there's a dance ceremony or a wedding, a funeral, or there's always funerals. Somebody's getting shot, like. <laughs> People will die. Every episode, somebody's people. dying. Yeah. <laughs> and the worst thing is somehow Maskakane is involved, you know? Yeah. She's involved in all the twists and corners and, and all of that. So this season, it has been like, it's, a, it's an honor working with great artists like Abos Java. Stava is on a hostel, Abo Tuan in Zuza, Abo 
Mjosti, mm. great actors, man. Yes, yes. It's like, it's so, we understand. I love it. That's fantastic. That sounds like I need to watch it now. Mm. Need you to watch gotta, it you right better. Now. You, you, you better, you better. You oh. won't be disappointed. No, definitely. I'm totally sold by that. Like, I feel your character, actually. Like, I feel like Lex you can come out of your character, like, right now. Levels. You're like, take this lipstick off now, please. I'm done. I'm done with this. Your top three favorite moments. Shooting. Uh, hey, shooting. Wrong word to use. <laughs> Filming. <laughs> Australia season two. <laughs> um, okay, the three... Uh, highlights. That's a hard question. Mm. It is. Ooh, that's yeah. a hard no, actually, question. it's not that hard. Oh, really? Because, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. We had Java's, uh, Java's birthday on set. That's one. Mm -hmm. Two, working with the lovely Tobani Nzoza. He is such a gifted spirit. He's amazing. Mm. You know, when I'm with him, I'm somewhere else. We, we like the, the scenes that we, 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 we do together, they, they're like out of this world. Then three, working with Mjosti and, and Dogozo, who play Tulita and Vov. Mm. There's never a dull moment when those guys are around. They are so funny, like, but this, like the behind the scenes stuff. Yes. Mm. I cannot survive. Like they make the, 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 the work so easy. You wake up the next day, you know you're gonna see them. you like, mm. you know, I got my pill for the day. Mm. Nice. Yeah. And nice. then, I mean, I know I asked you for top three favorite moments, but I specifically would like to know personally, top three favorite scenes where you are like, ah. <laughs> you don't go there. See, there we go. Yeah. There yeah. We go. <laughs> Do they include <laughs> someone dying? Do someone got shot, no? go there. <laughs> Okay, I have, okay, I, di I did the scene with Tobani Nzuza who plays Umdeni, mm -hmm. and he was threatening me with a gun. Mm. And mind you, Tobani goes in, like he's not himself, he's Umdeni, you know? And he's just swinging the gun, like <laughs> I'm not sure whether he's gonna he hit me with the gun, break, take out all my teeth or what? To a point that I was like, you know what? Let me call the director, call Tobani. Like, I'm really scared now, like for real, real. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. But that was like, the, when, I, when, I, when I saw it on screen, it was the best. Wow. It was the best, it was lovely. And then the second and you didn't one. You not have to lose any teeth over it, so that's also yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the second one was uh, when I was with Kalemba. Kalemba is the guy that made that my son. Mm. And we have this, you know, the thing I'm a G scene. There's a oh. vibe. Mm. <laughs> like the wow scene. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right? Um, so we, we, we have that scene and towards the end I have to, as much as I'm playful towards him, towards the end of the scene I have to show that anger like it's just a play but behind his back I'm aiming for him, you know? I like that, I enjoy that scene as well. Um, third one, it's a scene that I, I do with two liter. Okay. Yeah. Episode six, a hostel, one, six, one. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Yeah. 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 On, yeah. on, yeah. like the, the more you talk about yeah. it, I'm just like, why am I not watching mm. a why hostel? Barely? Why? Exactly. Yeah. No, honestly, like it's I'm saying, like, yeah, man. <laughs> like, why barely? It sounds barely. like it should be a hectic, no, age-restricted show, yeah. the way things are going down. They are really happening. And I, I love the way South Africa has welcomed the show, the love they give us. I just love, I just, like, I just love everything. Absolutely. Fantastic. Every Sunday is a trend. There we, yeah. That's all you need. <laughs> Every Sunday you are trending. Yeah. That is the best description for yeah. a hostella ever. Please make sure you do check it out. Uh, this is uh, DSTV Roundtable. I am Donovan Goliath. And uh, a hostella should be sponsored by like a funeral parlor or something. <laughs> Just based <laughs> on what happens. Just <laughs> based on what happens. Please do check it out.